Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving deep into Rising OS 4.2, the latest custom ROM based on Android 14, running on the beloved OnePlus 6T. Now, before we jump into the features, I want to be upfront. This ROM is currently in development, and it's not stable enough for daily use. It's got a lot of bugs, however, the developer is actively addressing feedback and things are looking promising for future updates. Let's start with the good stuff. Rising OS 4.2 offers a dedicated personalization section, which is a welcome addition. It's got a similar vibe to Infinity X ROM in terms of look and feel. The lock screen customization options are decent. You can tweak the clock font, add widgets, and even enable depth wallpapers. Unfortunately, you'll need to manually set a depth wallpaper for it to work. Other standard features like user switch and AOD images are present. Moving on to the UI, you have the usual suspects, icon shapes, Monet settings, navbar styles, quick settings, and more. It's a good collection of options to tailor the interface to your liking. There's also a section for signal icon style, status bar customization, and overall UI style. The general toolbox is where things get interesting. We've got buttons, full screen apps, game space, gestures, navigation, spoofing, and quick switch. Let's talk about spoofing. It's a feature that allows you to mask your device as a different one for various apps. You can spoof Google Apps to Pixel 8 Pro, enable game props for gaming optimizations, and even spoof your device for Netflix. The alert slider works flawlessly on this ROM, which is a relief as it was a problem on Infinity X. Another interesting addition is the desktop mode. You can configure it for both PC and TV connections. Battery life is decent with around 4 hours of screen on time. Unfortunately, the front camera is not working, which impacts face unlock. Safety net passes by default, but it failed for me since I'm rooted. Geekbench scores are 480 to single core and 1860 to multi core. Now, let's talk about the bugs. The front camera doesn't work in the stock camera or Geekam, but video calls on WhatsApp are possible. Face unlock is inconsistent, alert slider gestures have issues, and there are some missing lock screen customizations. Camera switching, video recording, and GPS on WhatsApp are also problematic. To sum it up, Rising OS 4.2 on the OnePlus 6T shows promise with its customization options and features. However, the current state of bugs makes it unsuitable for daily use. If you're an adventurous user who doesn't mind tinkering, you can give it a try but be prepared for issues. I recommend waiting for future updates as the developer is actively working on improvements. That's it for this review. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you're facing similar issues. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech content. Thanks for watching.